Ladies and gentlemen, how are we? Cameron Stewart calling in here from the uh, Southern Motorway heading south towards Green Lane. So I thought I'd just get on. I'm stuck in the beautiful Auckland traffic again. So I thought I'd get on here and quickly just um, smash out a, 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 a message or a video um, on something that's really um, something that I've been um, spending a lot of time working on myself um, of late. Um, and that's why I want to to, to, uh, to obviously um, teach it to you guys is identifying what your weaknesses are like at the end of the day all of us are human um, there's certain elements of ourselves that are really really good and there'll be elements that are not so good Brent how are you brother long time no see not long to duck shooting champ James how are you bro Richard Ravine how are you bro um so yeah, look, I just wanted to get on here and I've been a bit uh, slack with the videos of late and, and the reason being, I haven't been at peak uh, at my peak uh, performance, to be brutally honest with you. Um, I've been probably, I've been um, pretty uh, wiped out um, just doing everything that I'm doing and I've just overwhelmed myself mentally a little bit. Um, and I wanted to get on here, g'day Dan, you'll know what I'm going to talk about now. Um, I just wanted to really get on here and... Um, I know with myself over the last, probably the last, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks, uh, especially I've let um, elements of life um, probably get on top of me, and, and that's been uh, a weakness within my, uh, within my own thinking. Um, and you know, obviously I've done many, many videos on this stuff over the years, but I actually fell back uh, into that way of thinking, so into back into that negative thought uh, pattern, or I started to. Um, get overwhelmed by the situation that I was in um, instead of actually focusing on moving forward um, and that's why I wanted to do a video on the subject because when I actually I, as weird as this may seem when I do these videos online and when I share this stuff online the better I become and and that's why I started doing this process was if I could share what maybe something that I've had to go through and if that can uh, benefit and help someone else well then that's a good thing isn't it so um, you know, I think um, for me, you know, and what I've done in the post here is identifying what your weaknesses are. Now, for me, um, I'll use myself as an example here. Um, taking action or going out there and doing activity, a whole heap of activity, going out night after night, just going hard out, making stuff happen, um, has never really been an issue for me. I've never really had trouble with going out there and stepping across the, the line and actually taking action. That's never been a problem for me. But what I've found, and, and people that are, uh, that are that close to me have said, um, you've got to take time out, and you've got to, um, you know, clear your head, and you've got to really work on yourself personally, so that you can actually become better. Um, because if when you're not working on yourself, and I know, uh, look, I always read books, I listen to audios, um, I do this stuff on a daily basis. I ha I do accountability, um, I do all this stuff. But um, if you're you know, like people have said, if, if there's certain elements about your uh, that you haven't actually physically dealt with, or um, it can come back to bite you, so you can do a whole lot of activity, a whole lot of activity, a whole lot of activity, um, and you're wondering why you're not getting the results that you're wanting, and it's probably because you're trying to push things a little bit hard, and th I'm speaking about myself here, um, and I think it's important um, as human beings we need to understand what our strengths are and we need to understand what our weaknesses are and just because you might be weak in an area doesn't mean you can you, you, you're gonna have to stay there meaning no matter where you're at in life if there's something that you need to work on or there's something that you're not quite so good at right now you can work on that and improve each and every one of us has the ability to improve and make ourselves better and that's what life's about and I think for me um, when I started this journey with this online stuff, um, having been in a, in a, in a slightly uh, stressful scenario um, for a few months, um, it was very, very good uh, for me for my, from a personal growth uh, point of view um, of, of being accountable to the, the, the public out there, as strange as that may seem. Um, you know, putting yourself in the firing line um, and actually working on those things that maybe aren't, uh, you're not on the top of your game with. Like, for me... Um, I look at my um, the way what, the way I think, and there'll be a lot of people that are watching this video will be the same as there'll be times that you're going you're going along really really well uh, in life.
things are going really well um, and all of a sudden you'll just hit a wall mentally and uh, you might you might uh, take a couple of steps back um, or in some cases some people just go really backwards um, they go into that um, depressed way of thinking they start to really go backwards in life uh, due to the way their thinking is now I, I've got to the point now where I can go through a stage like that but I can um, overcome it and move forward but back in the day if I got myself into that way of thinking I would stay down so being able to identify that we're all human there's going to be times when you're not running at 110 percent but understanding when you get into those moments being able to identify them and then realize shit I'm going backwards here I need to actually what do I need to do to improve myself in this area so that I can move forward in life and I think um, for a lot of people um, there's they get caught up in their head and they're, they're worried about what other people think um, they, they get they, they beat themselves up mentally I know this is what I do to myself I, I'm very very hard on myself this is a weakness that I have so I beat myself beat, beat myself up beat myself up and just give myself a hard time with inside my mind and in turn it then it makes me very unproductive um, so as I say taking the action has never been an issue for me but what I'm getting at is here people is we've all got things that we need to work on and if there's something in your life that's not quite you know you're just a little bit out of sync um, you know get involved or find someone or you know talk to one of your friends say look I'm not really 110 percent in this area find a mentor of some sort in life you know find someone that you relate to that you can confine things in um, find someone that can give you the guidance so that you can move forward because this is a very short run we have at this life look obviously we might live for 50 60 70 years 80 years whatever the case may be but it's still a it's still a very very short burst in the big scheme of things and and you want to make sure that you're living your life to your full potential i think most people are really living for way below their full capabilities and i i know myself although i've had some successes in life and all the rest of it there's still a long way for me to go to really reach my full potential and that's why I started this journey online and doing this stuff so I could benefit other people but also help myself grow. And g'day Clarence, how are you champ? And uh, so th the thing is, whatever it is that you have going on, understand that that's just one element of, uh, element of you that's maybe not 100%. But if you work on that element, so the, the part of you that's not really that strong, there might be some, uh, I'll, I'll use myself as an example again. I've always trained extremely hard at the gym, five, six days a week, but my diet's always been off off point. So I've put all this effort in, I've drinking too much beer, eating too much food, pizza and all the rest of it. So I'll go and do the training, but my eating's never been on point, hence why I've never really got a serious result um, from a uh, body shape point of view. Um, but that's just a weakness I have in my mind, it's just a programming it's a bad habit that I've had for a long period of time that I haven't broken yet. But now, see, I'm, you get to the point where you recognize these areas in your life that maybe aren't 100%, and you okay, now I really need to change that. Like, for example, occasionally I bite my fingernail, and I actually read an article on it about biting your fingernail. As a, it's a habit. It's a terrible habit. And being conscious of it, you know, if you're sitting in a light and you're going to go and chew your nail or something, it's like, nah, don't do it. So it's, it's having being you know having the real understanding yourself enough that when those bad habits or traits come into your life, learning to break them. Because if you don't break them, what happens is you just keep getting the same result, same result, same result, same result. And that's not what it's about, people. You want to be able to change the way you think, so that you can change the way you live. Because that's you know that's what it's about at the end of the day. It's about um, creating a better life for, for you and your family. Um, having a better relationship, having better friendships, um, and becoming a better person. So that's what, what it's all about. So identify where you are maybe falling short in life. Find people that can help you rise above it. Work on it every day. Ask for help. Don't be scared to ask for help. And I'll use myself as an example again. For me, asking for help has never been an easy thing. So asking someone for advice when you're a, when you're a very ego driven personality like my myself is 
to go and ask another guy or a, a girl or whatever the case may be for advice has been very uh, difficult at times but sometimes you just got to shut your mouth and listen and uh, in my case that's what I've had to learn to do um, which is very very difficult um, for me to, to, to do that but I understand that there's certain elements that I need to work on so I've got to I've got to work on those g'day Matt how are you bro um, I was just <laughs> talking through this uh, what I was talking to you about the other day actually um, so the thing is guys I'm just sorry I'm just uh, pulling up at Greenland McDonald's the old haunt I'm not going here to snack by the way I'm going here to catch up some guys so identifying where you are falling short in my case this is why I'm, I'm saying this on uh, in the video is because I think it can relate to a lot of people um, identifying where you're falling short in areas of your life and then taking action to improve them because it's all very fine identifying them but with, if we never take any action to improve those areas of life we're never going to move forward so that's my two uh, cents worth the first video I've done in about a week so I, I really felt like I needed to get on here and smash one out and I'm uh, I'm pretty amping from today. I've had a really good day today um, and just really looking forward to moving forward and, and uh, making things happen. So I hope you're having an absolute cracker day. Uh, Cameron Stewart calling in here from Auckland. A very rainy day here in Auckland today. So I hope you're having a cracker. Enjoy your Monday night and we'll talk to you again soon.